Hello and welcome to the World of Building Design channel. Um, my name is Babak, your host. This is a Revit MEP tutorial number two. As you know, this is a tutorial for the fire sprinkler system design. Uh, in this tutorial, we would like to focus on how to copy and monitor levels in a um, model or in a building where you want to model a sprinkler system in it. So this is kind of similar process that we have done in the previous tutorials in the Revit MEP basic training series. So we have to do the same process in order to get our model ready for uh, our uh, new system design. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at how uh, we have um, to monitor and link um, uh, architectural plan to our uh, new sprinter system model and how we have to uh, control and copy and monitor the levels in our new model. So as you remember, we have linked uh, an architectural plan to our um, you know, a sprinkler system model and, uh, and uh, normally we have a number of levels in our architectural plan and the best way to look at them is to go to elevation on the project browser left hand side so I can select the south mechanical from here double click and go to the elevation south elevation mechanical or I can come here and look at this uh, you know, little arrow on the bottom. So by staying in here, you can see this is a south mechanical elevation. It's either way, you can double click in either this symbol here or on the left hand side on the project browser to get into your uh, south elevation. So I'm going to double click on this and we are now in the south elevation or our, our building, um, which is an architectural model we linked in the previous tutorial. Um, to our new uh, sprinkler system model. So in this uh, step, because our, our sprinkler model did have only two level in it, as you can see the two level floor, floor level in here, and these are not aligned with your architectural floor plan levels. This means that if you uh, start modeling anything, it looks vague and it's not looking um, organized and in a right uh, location in your architectural plan. That's why we have to always take this step by um, you know aligning our mechanical or sprinkler system model in alignment with the architectural plan. So that's what we're going to do and on top of that we want to also monitor our model levels uh, in coordination with the architectural level because you know in the architectural uh, world the spaces are changing multiple times and uh, any of those changes in the elevation and the you know ceiling and all those kind of things would impact the way we model the mechanical and sprinkler system in our model so we have to keep them monitored and once any of those changes happens in the architectural model what we have to do is we have to reload the link in our uh, you know in our model so any of those changes are showing up or uh, we get like a message in our model uh, showing that there is a coordination required based on the changes happened in the architectural. Then it gives a warning to us as a mechanical or a sprinkler system designers to modify our design accordingly. So that's a very beneficial tool when you work collaboratively with the other, other disciplines like architectural or architects. Okay, so uh, now as you can see in this elevation, we have this two level um, that is default uh, level for our mechanical. So what I need to do is first I want to um, align these two levels with the architectural level. As you can see, these levels on the right hand side, these are all architectural levels. I can select them. As you can see, I can select them individually. All I can select is the when you I hover here, the only thing I can select is the whole link as a whole. But these two level are basically our, our our own level in our model. So when I select this level one, <clears throat> you can see that there are multiple things that are showing up here. You have a check mark here. It means that 
you have this uh, datum uh, symbol showing up by unchecking the datum symbol goes away so you can uncheck that goes away and basically uh, you have this lock uh, you know mechanism here that you can lock your um, you know your uh, level location and then the 3d uh, 3d view um, as as one of the other features on the datum line and you see this little grip uh, you know circle here which allows you to drag you see there is also instruction you can drag and extend this that's what i'm going to do i'm going to drag this out i'm going to drag this all the way out to here so what's going to happen here is that once i drag our mechanical levels out i want to make sure that our levels are in alignment with the architecture so i'm going to use the align command so while you're highlighting this level you can see that um, you can come here and use this command which is align or you can simply use al or type al and as you can see the command is applied and and the cursor uh, symbol is changing now what i want to do is i'm going to select the destination level which is here and is our architectural level and then i'm going to select my mechanical or a sprinkler model level so my model is going to be aligned with level two and our level one is already aligned so i'm not going to make any changes to this and i escape a couple of times so now i have aligned the two levels but as you can see this building has multiple levels number three all the way to the roof so what i need to do is to copy more of our sprinkler system model levels to other levels on top of that we, we were planning also to monitor our levels in collaboration with the architectural level so what i want to do is i'm going to select my architectural plan level here and then i'm going to go to collaborate command on the top once you go to collaborate command you come to here there is a command called copy monitor i'm going to select copy monitor and then from there i'm going to select select link this is the command we need while i'm selecting command link you see i can hover here and select my architectural model as a whole just left click and this whole architectural model is selected once i selected that you see there is a new sets of commands showing up here these are all uh, in sequencing happens then i'm going to use this monitor command when i go to monitor i come back here and i want to click on my architectural model first architectural i mean architectural level and then i'm going to select my mechanical level basically i'm going to select both of them and as you can see there is a there is this little um, symbol showing up which is basically the monitoring uh, uh, the monitoring symbol as you can see these two symbols are looking looking alike they are the similar they are the same so um, that's the same thing that i'm going to do with the other level which is level one this monitor command is already activated so i'm going to select this two level let's select this or level one and then architectural and this one which is the mechanical then you see this level is also monitored now before i exit this command because remember we didn't have mechanical levels for level three all the way to the roof i need to copy and monitor them as well so what i want to do is i'm going to press on the copy button up here press on the copy and then i press on multiple because i need multiple uh, level datum line to be copied then i'm going to press on the control button i'm going to keep and hold the control button as soon as i do that you can see that there is a, a plus um, you know symbol showing up on my cursor i'm going to select level three 
and then I'm going to select level 4 and then I'm going to select level 5 and then I'm going to select the roof okay so once I've done that the first thing you have to do is to press on this finish on the little one because if you go ahead and finish on the green um, you know check mark everything is going to go lost and then you have to repeat the same process again you have to first press on this finish on the bottom this basically uh, completes your uh, copy uh, you know command once you have done that then you can do the finish on the top so you see all these levels are copying in here because we are still in the monitor um, command and we are copying within that uh, monitor command so these are all copied then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do finish here okay so that's basically what we have done the whole you know copying and monitoring I'm going to select this I'm going to get to that grip pull it out so basically as you can see all of these levels that we can select are the levels that we have created in our mechanical or a sprinkler system design model and they are well aligned with our architectural model you see they are well aligned and uh, they are monitored as soon as any architectural level um, or elevation changes this is going to uh, show up in our model we get a notification so that we have to address those uh, coordination thing or coordination issue um, so basically that's the way we do this work um, and and that's the end of this uh, tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to go further uh, with the other uh, you know command on the Revit uh, MEP and specifically with the sprinkler system design thank you very much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed for this channel of the world of building design I recommend you to go ahead and do that and please press on the notification button if you like this kind of tutorial, please also like the tutorial and, uh, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.